Hello everyone, Guilty S75 here, and today we're gonna be doing my first gaming video, my live gaming video. It's not gonna be an Xbox video because I'm gonna wait to get like an Elgato or something to record my screen because I like having my live reactions, not recording and then putting oh, um, my voice over it later. So this is a live gameplay of Game Dev Tycoon. I love this game, I've been playing it for a year now or something, and today we're just gonna start fresh, a whole, a brand new everything. Okay, welcome to Game Dev Tycoon. In this business simulation, you have been transported back in time to start your very own game development company right at the beginning of the PC revolution. In the next 35 years, you can build your dream company, create best-selling games, and gain fans and become the leader of the market. Okay, before you can start your adventure, we have, you have to give your upcoming company a name. Okay, so my company name is gonna be... Uh, L... Oh shit. L... M... M... K... R. L... M... M... K... R. I don't know why. Well, I do know why. It's the first initial of all my five friends. Well, I don't only have five friends, but I mean of my best friends that I absolutely trust all the way that I know are assholes names. So L M M K R. Perfect. My name is Matthew. Oh, and I'm included. I'm the second M because I need to be in there and I'm in the middle. Okay. Okay, so I'm Matthew. I'm a girl. No, just kidding. I'm a guy. Okay, let's just pick this guy. And let's wear this thing. Why not? Unlock hints. Since you have played this game before, you can choose to use brutally gain hints. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. I don't know why, but let's just do it. If you ever want to review tutorial messages, you can help help many. You can read that if you want. <laughs> Congratulations, you just started your very own game development company. At the moment, your office is a garage, and you're the only employee. But don't worry, many successful businesses have started out this way. Let's start developing your first game. Close this message and then click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. Oh my God! Yay! So we went back to the future, lel and pong and whatever. So let's develop a new game. Before development, you can begin. You have to decide what kind of game you create. You are saying something. Can't even be bothered to read. Okay, we have city, music, fashion, and dungeon. I think we're gonna do a fashion dungeon game. <laughs> And what kind of genre do we want? Um, a dungeon RPG. Why not? And market share 56.1. Let's use this. Let's use this. Wait, what did that say? Okay, let's just use the G64. Or Commodore 64, as it was known before. It's good. Okay. What's gonna be the name of our new game? Let's call it. Uh. Wizards. And. Um. Dwarves. Why not? Wizards and dwarves. No, shit. <laughs> no, I don't like dwarves. Uh, wizards and gnomes. Why not? Because... Oh. Why is it not... Oh! <laughs> oh crap. It didn't pick the genre. RPG. Okay. Next. Text-based or 2D graphics version 1? I say 2D graphics version 1. Just... The aim of the game is to get mo the a lot of... What? Well, read that if you want. <laughs> Uh, the game, uh, game development runs through three stages. At the beginning of each stage, you can decide what areas of the game you want to focus on, blah, blah, blah. So, the pretty much, you think about your areas, you want a brief description of your game. Okay. 
So here we have engine, gameplay, and stories and quests. So since this is going to be a dungeon RPG, it needs quite a bit of story and quests, so it's interesting. The gameplay should be pretty good, and the engine is okay. So you have to get the most design and technology points without and research points so you can research more stuff later. And at the end, you just have to wait for the bugs to to get out, because um, you don't want your game to be buggy. Because otherwise, like critics, because there are critics in this game, and you gain fans if you do the right thing. So that's why I love this game. It's it's a good game. It's a lot of waiting to get all your the design and technology points and stuff like that. It's like wait for numbers to rise simulator, but it's really fun once you know uh, what you've gotten into. Hints development, blah blah blah. Unless you want to turn off the thing. Okay, how important the area type game did. Blah blah blah. Genre topic comedy. Okay, so it says question mark next to the two pluses. So I'm gonna put level design a little bit up. I'm gonna put artificial intelligence a little bit up and I'm gonna leave dialogues where they are. Because why not? Because then it can be like such a, a little bit of a hard game. Uh, tell me in the description, uh, in the, in the comments, what games you want to see me play next. I have like Team Fortress Two and Turbo Dismount, which I might do in French, and maybe some Flash games like Agari or something. Could be pretty interesting. Increases blah blah blah. Okay, whatever. Basic sounds and two D, whatever's okay. So graphics can go a little bit up. Sound isn't really that important, and world design, that's good, that, that's good, that's good, that's good what we're doing. Hopefully this game that I'm creating is good, tutorial first, yeah, I know how to play this game. If you want, ever want to read what's on the screen, just click pause, because I've already played this game a lot, and I can't be bothered to read everything. So now we just need to wait for the bugs to go away, see if maybe we can pass design and technology see there bam 13 instead of 11 just for waiting wait a couple of seconds yes no okay let's go finish development of your game has now finished developing improved your skills and experience sorry for the mouse clicking noises <laughs> i need a new mouse anyway Man, I can't record today, goddamn. My Mac restarted for some reason and needed an update. So I don't know if we came out with generate game report. Okay. Oh, okay, so they they still haven't reviewed it. Okay. So what are the reviews? Oh no. Oh god. Oh Jesus. Jesus Christ. You know what in Fort Gamer? You know what? <laughs> okay, I don't know what I was thinking. The game sounded like a boring idea anyway. Let's do superheroes because I love superheroes. Let's see how many we sell though. Maybe? It probably won't do as well as Wizards and Gnomes. Because Wizards and Gnomes sold 20k. 
you have successfully researched superheroes. Okay, let's develop a new game while the other one's still uh, selling. Let's make it a superhero game. Hmm. You know what? No, let's not make it a superhero game. No, let's make it a superhero game. Action or adventure? Um, let's make it an adventure game. And adventure. Okay, let's put it on PC. And it's gonna be called the. Justice Avengers Turtles <laughs> Men, because then it's Justice League, Avengers, Ninja Turtles, and Men and X Men. So then you have a bunch of superheroes. Let's go back to 2D graphics. Because apparently that works better. To make story and quest good, gameplay good, engine less good, as we always do. Hopefully, this game, the Justice Avengers Turtle Men, Turtles Men, I should put Turtle Men, not Turtles Men. Put this down, this up. Okay, that's good. That's good. I think we're gonna go, we're gonna go like 5k. That's it. It's gonna stop at 5k, and then no one's gonna buy it anymore. See, we gained less fans. Like we lost fans. Okay. Hmm. World design go up, up a bit. Graphic down and sound a little bit up. Oh. That's good. Oh god, my ear. My ear is ringing. I hate when that happens. I hear. It. I hate when your ear rings. Not my ear, my my earrings, but my ear rings. Like you know, apparently it's that thing where people say, "Oh, that means somebody's talking about you" or whatever. That's bullshit. I don't even know why it does that. Okay, so finish. The Justice Avenger. The Justice Avengers. The just the Justice Avengers Turtle Men. Okay, let's see how Justice Justice Avengers Turtle Men comes out. That's a tongue twister. Justice Avengers Turtle Men. Justice Avengers Turtle Men. It's pretty hard to say, and it's not looking great. Oh God, waste of time. Fuck you, Star Games. Oh God, we've been making some bad decisions. We've been making some very bad decisions.